Hello students, welcome to Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 3, Computer Organization. Content of this video is Data communication between CPU and memory. What are the types of microprocessor? The communication between CPU and memory. So, memory means our main memory, RAM. The data is taken from the main memory to the CPU. Then ALU will do the process. Inside the CPU, there are two things. One is MAR, another one is MDR. Memory address register, memory data register. And the from CPU to memory, the control unit will have the flow, how to take, take the data from the memory and how to give the um, content from the CPU to the memory. And there are two buses, one is address bus, another one is data bus. This data bus and address bus is for communication. This data bus will carry the content, that means the data. Address will have the address. Both are for us look to be a number, but there is a difference. What's the difference means? In the memory, for example, if you are adding two numbers, 10 plus 20. 10 is stored and 20 is stored. Where it is stored, that is represented by the address. So 10 is the value, that is the data. So it is have an internal process that it will have separate thing for data and address. So based on these things, the communication takes place. The CPU has a memory data register and memory address register. The memory data register keeps the data which is transferred between the memory and the CPU. The program counter, that is PC, is a special register in the CPU which always keeps the address of the next instruction to be executed. As we know, CPU will execute the instruction. It may be one by one, so it will have the counting handled by program counter. Arithmetic and logic unit, that is the ALU part, places the address of the memory to be fetched into the memory address register. So all together will function for the communication of a CPU and memory. So you have learnt what is MDR and MAR and PC. So PC is a program counter. It will come for one word and MDR, MAR, the full form. Anything can be asked in your one mark question. Then, as we know that there is a communication, right? Uh, communication in the sense read and write. A read operation transfers the data bit from word to the memory data register, that is MDR. How it transfers means, as we know in the memory word, that means in the RAM, it is in bit. Can you see, uh, the, they have given an 8 bit number. So there is 8 digit. Here this 8 digit is taken. That is from the right side is given to the right side of this place. Can you see this last 0 is taken to the last place of this register. So exactly the words are transferred. And it should be in same size also. If the memory size is 8 bit, here the data register also should be in 8 bit. So, before it is empty, after the read operation, the particular data is copied to the data register. Write operation transfers the data bits from MDR to Word, vice versa. So, this is the working nature inside the CPU. The Word in the RAM has same size, number of bits as the MDR. If the processor is 8-bit processor, uh, like Intel 8085, it's MDR and the word in the RAM must have 8 bit. Next, a bus is a communication of wires used for communication between the internal components of a computer. This expression covers all the related hardware components and software including communication protocol. That means as you cross the word data bus and address bus. So this bus can be sometimes like these wires. All are said to be bus. Inside the motherboard, each device is connected with the this type of bus. And sometimes it may be a software including communication 
protocol. So using this, the communication takes place between the uh, memory memory unit, memory board, and to the ALU. Then another topic is processors can be classified based on the following criteria. That is, width of the data that can be processed and the instruction set. As we know, width of the data means the word size and the instructions. As we know, instructions, it can, it can execute instructions like data transfer, control flow, arithmetic. Do you remember what you learned in the previous video? So, these types of instructions can be executed and the word size is the width of the data. But they have given a specification regarding this. So, depending on the data width, microprocessor can process instructions and it can be 8 bit as I showed in the previous video. The OS may be 34 bit or uh, 64 bit or 32 bit. So, first it was 8 bit, now it is improvised to 64 bit. So based on this, a microprocessor can be set as it is a 8-bit processor, 16-bit, 32, 64-bit. Then microprocessor can be classified based on the following instruction set. The size of the instruction set is important consideration while categorizing microprocessor. There are two types of microprocessor based on their instruction set. So one is or ISC that is reduced instruction set computers. Another one is complex instruction set computers. They have given the example processor name Pentium 4, Intel P6, AMD K6 and K7. These processor comes under the category of reduced instruction set. From the name itself you can understand the instructions are reduced. Here the instructions are complex. So based on that the processor is used for a particular task. Complex means it will be used for a research site. So the recap. We have, uh, you have learnt data communication that is MDR, MEAR, it is in CPU and the communication between the CPU and the memory and the types of processor. It is classified based on data width and the instruction set. Based on the data width, it, is, it may be 8, 16, 32, 64 bit. Based on the instruction set, it can be divided into reduced instruction or complex instruction set of computers. That's all for this. Learn this very well. Thank you. Have a good day.